Hello, everyone. My name is Raven, and welcome to Raven67854 Gaming, and welcome to my Quixel Mixel tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at one of the many ways that you can create texture uh, sets inside of Quixel Mixer. And specifically, we're going to look at the single texture set and how we can set up our models so that we can apply our textures to separate portions of the model. And we're going to do that through a material ID. So uh, how do we do that? Well, first, we need to actually bake out a material ID. And for the sake of this tutorial, obviously, I will be using Blender. However, uh, you can use any art program you like, but I use Blender. So that's what we're going to be using. So the best way to do this really is to determine, uh, you know, basically what parts of the model that, you know, you uh, want to actually be textured with, say, a different material. And I put that in quotes there. So we're just going to go and do new. And I'm going to call this mat underscore concrete. And so this will be all the portions of the model that will be, uh, well, concrete. And since this one will probably be taking up the bulk of the actual model, uh, I am just going to go on and create a new material. And I'm just going to call this Matt underscore orange panel. As well, I'd like to thank my good friend Nick for letting me uh, use his model here. Uh, it's quite nice. and. It uh, makes it much more interesting than just a cube. Okay, so for the base color, because we do want to change, I'm just going to give this like an RNG kind of look here. And then I'm just going to go through and hold Alt, to try and select all of this, and then Shift. Okay, maybe I should not Shift. There we go. All right. And we will just assign and we'll hold Z and make sure we are in material preview. And now I'm just gonna go through here and just basically just go through. And all we really, really wanna do is, we just want to select all the portions of our model that are going to be part of this panel here. probably a faster way to do this. Uh, unfortunately, this is where me not being the, uh, the knowing a great deal about Blender. Actually, you know what? I'm going to hit uh, three on the uh, numpad here. And then I am going to select the up here. There is a toggle uh, raycast there. Or uh, z-ray or x-ray rather i should say and then i'm just going to go through and i'm just going to assign and then i'm just going to go turn that back off and then i am just going to go through here and set this back to concrete and then just scroll through and that was much quicker should have done that the first time and i'll just do the same thing again Try not to select too much. I do, however, want that one selected. And then we'll just assign this, and then we'll do an Alt-Z to turn that off. And then we'll go back up and assign the concrete. And let's see, this is supposed to be the orange panels. So we'll just select these here, and then we'll hit Assign. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we are going to the vents and the vents we're going to do pretty much in the same manner okay then we're going to do an alt c here and we're just going to make sure that you know we didn't really select anything that you know we didn't need to select and make sure of course everything else is selected Okay, and for the vents, I'll just make them a blue. Now, this part is very important uh, as far as, you know, like, like what color you assign them. It doesn't really matter, but it does need a separate color. Because the material ID 
will be baked out based on that color. Okay, same thing as before. We're just going to go right on through and we'll assign the vents. And then we'll disable that. And then we'll go back into our material concrete here. And we'll just assign. Oh, missed a spot. Not too bad for the sake of this tutorial, but you know. Definitely not something you want to, you know, get into a habit of. You know, always do things right the first go around. Now, as far as this right here, somehow this got reassigned. No biggie. We'll just do that. Okay. Now, in this particular model, uh, this part and the back and the sides. I uh, haven't really been un unwrapped. And the reason for this is because uh, in this particular model, uh, they're not visible anyway for what this model is used for. So, so now the next thing we need to do is we're going to go into shading. And over here, we're going to select new. And we're going to call this material. Actually, I'll call this wall one underscore material underscore ID and I'll set its size to 2048 by 2048. We do not need an alpha channel and I'll hit OK. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set it up for the bake itself. So we're going to do a shift A there and do image texture. And actually I'm going to hit control space at this point. This is so it'll full screen it and I'll just dump it right on in here. We do not need to assign this to anything. It just needs to be in here for the purpose of the bake. And then up here, we're going to change to the matte orange one. And same thing. We're going to do an image texture. And we're going to assign our texture that we created. Okay. And then we're going to do another image texture in the vents. Perfect. And I'm going to hit control space to go back. And I'm going to go back to matte concrete there to make sure it's the first one. And uh, as you can see, everything is assigned appropriately. So if we, you know, I'm going to get out of edit mode there. And if we go through and make a change, you can see that everything is assigned as it should be. And now what I'll do is I'll go into UV edit or texture paint so I can see the full image here. And now we just need to bake this out into a color. So over here in render properties, I'm going to change the render to cycles. And I'm going to set it to GPU compute. And that's pretty much it. The next thing, of course, is the samples. We don't actually need that many samples because of what we're doing. So I'm just going to set it to two. You could even set it to one and it should be fine. And we're going to go down to bake. And we're going to do diffuse. And we're only going to select the color. And then we're just going to hit bake. And one thing that would really, really help, by the way, is if the object was selected. So we'll just left click the object there and then go back into texture paint. And we will just bake. And you can also select it up there. I'm not really sure why I didn't do that, but I didn't do that. So, And now we'll just wait a second. And then once it's done over here, uh, you should see the UV map and everything appropriate there. Awesome. So there you have it. It did its nice little bake and everything is pretty good. Not the best UV ever. Actually, it's downright horrible. Um, but for the sake of this tutorial to do pretty good. So now what we're going to do is we are just going to save the image out under desktop as wall one underscore material ID, or you can save it anywhere. And you can just save it as a PNG, that's fine. And we'll hit save image. And it doesn't need an alpha channel, by the way. Now, the other thing we need to do is we need to actually export our model out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna control, sorry, shift D, and I'm gonna duplicate this model. And I am just going to remove uh, all of the materials, uh, except for one. I'm just gonna go ahead and hide that other one there. And then I'm gonna do a file export FBX. I'm gonna send it to the desktop, selected objects only, and you can leave everything else default and then export FBX. Now what we want to do is we want to open up mixer. 
and we want to do a new mix. And we'll do a new mix at 2048. And it just needs a name. So we'll just do wall one underscore material ID. Now, keep in mind that when you export out the textures, it will have this name, but you can always change them. Uh, but th this is something very important to keep in mind. But for the sake of this and keeping it all separate, uh, I am just going to create these rather long names. But you should give it a name that makes sense for whatever you're working on. And we'll hit OK. And now under here in Setup, we'll just load a custom model. We'll go to the desktop. And we'll just load up wall one FBX and hit Open. And we'll do from... Right here where you see texture sets, we have three different ones. And this is, like I, I might have mentioned in the beginning, this is going to be a three-part tutorial series where they're all different. But what we're going to do is we're just going to select single. This means we're only going to have one texture set. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to go down to here where it says material ID, no material ID map loaded. We need to load one. And then down here at the bottom, import material ID. And as you can see, it's right here. And we'll just close this out. And you can see we now have our materials. And now we're just going to add a new surface layer here. And we're just going to select concrete. And I'll just select this rough concrete. This part here is not going to be very, um, like, again, this is not how to texture in Quixel. So it's going to be rather quick so we're going to select add material id at the bottom or you can hit the hotkey i and then we'll just assign this to white and now it only affects the white texture surface and now we'll just do the same thing so i'll go into metal here and i'll choose like uh, some kind of rough mm, rusted metal rusted metal sheet let's see what this looks like okay and we'll hit i and it'll just go to the bright orange that's good enough and then we'll go back and I'll select this top one up here for the vent. The vent will just be a really nasty, grungy metal. And we'll just assign it to the blue. And there's a little bit of a mess up with the model here in uh, Quixel, but it's actually perfectly uh, fine once inside of Unreal or Godot or any engine you want to throw it in. Okay, so now we're going to do is we're going to go over to Export. And we will export everything out we want. And I don't want the displacement, so I'm going to turn that off. And I will export it out at 2048 by 2048. And it will create a subfolder based on the material, uh, bas basically based on the project name. It will create a uh, folder inside of Mixer and we'll just export it out to disk. And then what we'll do is we'll go into Mixer and we'll go into Wall 1 Material ID. And there it is. You can see it's all here. And now you could go on ahead and channel pack if you want, which you should do. And there you have it. So now you know how to texture with Material ID. Uh, it's a very useful uh, tool. It is actually extremely useful. And in the next video, part two of this series, uh, we are going to show how to texture using multiple materials. And then from there, in part three, we'll show you how to I will show you how to texture with UDIMs. So there you have it. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, join the Discord, or you can comment down below uh, as well. If you would like, um, you can support this channel by becoming a member. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a lovely day or night or evening, whichever.